Hello. Well, I just wanted to come on and make a bit of a quick video. Um, there's a sale going on at Barnes and Noble uh, for Criterion collection film titles. Um, you know, I've talked about many that I own that I enjoy, like. Um, Silence of the Lambs and Doctor Strangelove, great sets, um, you know, great films. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's others, obviously, but take a look. Go to Barnes and Noble, which is where the sale is going on, on at, and uh, or the website, and just uh, see what you if you like through the Criterion Collection. Get fifty percent off. So. Quite a deal since normally they're uh, uh, forty dollars. Um, sure, sometimes they'll go down in price to like thirty-five, thirty if they've been around for quite some time. For blue, that's Blu-ray though. But you know, DVDs are also a bit more pricier because uh, Criterion has a lot of special features and they take a lot of care into making it the best looking and sounding film uh, it can be whatever you're interested in um, and I also wanted to alert you guys to Filmstruck uh, being shut down um, which is it's just a two-year-old service it was a streaming service for uh, art house films um, some classic films like from Hollywood some foreign films um, from the Criterion Collection and Turner Classic Movies. So, you know, TCM and Criterion came together and made a streaming service. Um, now, there could be volumes or many reasons as to why they're shutting down. Um, I, I, f I don't know if they did a great job at marketing it well. Um, I mean, I heard about it. Um, I'm subscribed to Criterion and TCM, so like for their YouTube channel, and I got letters from both announcing it. But like, if you're not a uh, fan of either of those, or maybe you don't mind Criterion or TCM, but you don't, you know, you're not much. You don't really think about either of them a whole lot. You may not have heard of it, but you know, as of last month, uh, you couldn't be a new subscriber because well. November 9th, or 29th, I should say, um, it's shutting down. Um, however, uh, I will leave a link in the description, uh, an article that talks about directors and um, actors writing and signing a letter uh, to like, an executive at Warner Brothers. Because... Um, Warner Media is uh, that's the outlet. It used to be Time Warner. Now it's Warner Media. Didn't know that until hearing of this. Um, they're uh, pulling the plug, and from what I've seen, the reason is management. New management's coming in, so certain things are getting axed, and that was and Filmstruck was one of those, you know. It was a streaming service, from what I've gathered, that was like Netflix, Hulu, and uh, Amazon. But the difference is these showed classic films, showed art house films, showed foreign films that many people might not know about. And um, it's sad to see it go. Um, I never had it, but then again, possibly a reason for its downfall is... A nap was never made for game consoles. I couldn't watch Filmstruck on my PS4. Or if you have an Xbox One, couldn't watch it there. Uh, apparently, you had to buy a Roku or they had, on their website, they had a list of things you could um, get to buy, like an uh, Amazon Fire Stick or some uh, something of that sort you could get. Plug that into your TV, and um, there you go. You can watch it.
watch Amazon and if you have Amazon Prime, watch all the stuff there. And you can watch um, uh, Filmstruck there also, if, uh, if I recall correctly. Um, but it's sad. But these uh, filmmakers and actors signed this letter, which essentially is urging the uh, huge, uh, big executive, I want to say he's the head of Warner Brothers. Um, let me look here. Because I was looking through this. Um, yeah, uh, Warner Brothers Pictures Group Chairman, yeah, Toby Emmerich. Yeah, like the Christopher Nolan, T Paul Thomas Anderson, and Leonardo DiCaprio are the big guys championing this, you know. Also, they're, uh, they like, uh, physical media, also. I know Christopher Nolan does. He likes Blu-rays and DVDs to, uh, Netflix. Um, but, yeah, it's, um, it's a shame. Two years old, and it's gone. Again, perhaps they didn't market this streaming service very well. Um, I don't know. I've never talked about it before. And again, I never had it, so I couldn't watch various films, talk about the films, and tell where I watched it if I didn't have it um, on a shelf. Because um, I do like to have physical media. But, you know... It's a real shame, but, you know, I guess that is what it is, unfortunately. Um, perhaps this uh, letter will do something, maybe it won't. I know a lot of people have signed a petition, I think on change.org, I believe. So, people are still signing it, and um, I don't know. I don't know if anything will happen with that. Stuff with change.org, really, I don't recall anything ever happening or changing because a petition on change.org made its goal and a lot more. Um, not that I'm aware of, at least. Um, but, you know, it's a shame this service is going out. A lot of people have enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, just want to come here and talk about Filmstruck a bit, as well as letting people know about the Barnes & Noble sale, on the off chance you didn't know about it. You still have until December 3rd. Um, so, you, all of this month and uh, the first three days of December to get it, get in on all this deal for 50% off all Criterion titles. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get on that, you know, just sorting out what I want, like, sort of a demand of films I really want from Criterion and all of that. Um, perhaps some of you have already gotten stuff. Perhaps maybe you guys have already ordered but haven't gotten stuff yet. I don't know. But to anybody who didn't know, just thought I'd, uh, you know, say something. That way for Christmas you can get somebody something, or just get something for yourself, because why not? Anyway, um, that's really all I have. Uh, hope all of you have a good weekend, have a good day, and until next time, Keep going and keep doing what you're doing.